Rotherham, a town famous for its industrial history and being the home of a particular set of brothers. In the heart of Rotherham stands Rotherham Minster, an impressive Gothic structure that has towered over the town since the 1400s. It has seen many events, from civil war battles, the decline of Rotherham's industries, and Rotherham's regeneration of the 21st century, but it has never quite seen anything like this. Hello and welcome back to Tour Obscure. It's been a while. Today we are in Rotherham. We're not meant to be in Rotherham, but we are. And the reason for that is because Rotherham Minster, just behind me, there's something very special going on in there at the moment. So we've come to find out all about the history of this place and to see the special event, what's taking place. Join me to find out what. So, Rotherham Minster, start with the basics. 1086, it was noted that there was a church on this site. And at that time, Rotherham only consisted of 12 households. So there was no suburbs, there was no town centre. It was just a church here and 12 households surrounding it. As Rotherham continued to grow, the church was rebuilt twice. Two other churches existed on this site, some of which I believe still exist to this day only small parts of the church but this church was rebuilt in the 1400s as we see it today in the gothic design i believe it was 1480 to 1512 this was constructed and it's one of the most impressive churches in the country in my opinion uh, it's one of the tallest spires up there with some of the tallest spires in the country so on the other side of the church we've got all saints square which is the focal point of rotherham town center now that actually used to be part of the church grounds itself and in 1932 it was turned into All Saints Square and taken off the hands of the church. Now during this transformation 500 bodies were actually exhumed from that part of the church grounds. Now these bodies were reinterred in Moorgate Cemetery which is just up the road. But yeah 500 bodies were taken out of that site just there. Now another interesting fact about this place and it's one I'm refusing to believe point blank but the weather vane which is at the top of the spire up there apparently is seven feet tall which is significantly taller than me but looking at it i just can't see it however if you got up there i'm pretty sure i would be proven wrong but it's uh yeah seven feet tall apparently so as i mentioned earlier there's something very special going on inside rotherham minster at the moment so we're going to go and try and get inside and see if we can get permission to film. So the lovely staff at the Minster have actually allowed us permission to film. And the reason I was so eager to come inside is because of this. Suspended directly underneath the main tower of Rotherham Minster is a huge model of the moon, Luke Jerram. An artist from the UK has created an epic piece of artwork depicting the moon in amazing detail. The model measures 7 metres in diameter and each centimetre on the artwork represents 5 kilometres of the moon's surface. The stunning detail is due to official NASA imagery being used to create the artwork, giving a breathtaking view of our lunar neighbour. Whilst the moon won't be staying in Rotherham, its visit has been very well received, with people flocking to the Minster to view the artwork. During the opening weekend, over 3,000 people attended the Minster to get a glimpse of the moon. The moon is a touring piece and is currently stopping off in multiple locations, including visits overseas. It's difficult to make such an impressive structure like Rotherham Minster any more awe-inspiring. But whilst the moon was here, it certainly achieved that. <laughs> <laughs> 